Well, praise God, praise God, you lovely people on YouTube and on Facebook and to the whole wide world. You got to feel like a million dollars when you get up. Yeah, you may not have no million dollars. You may not have nothing close to a million dollars. Like, I don't have nothing close to a million dollars. But one thing I got, I got a peace of mind. And a peace of mind is my million dollars, if that makes sense. I watched a movie one time, and this person, uh, wife, had got a job with some big, rich people, billionaires. And they was millionaires themselves, but they went to this party. And when the guys, when oh, she introduced her to the big bosses and stuff, the ladies uh, took off one way and the men was sitting there talking. And the, one of the guys said, oh, so you're a millionaire, huh? He said, how did you get your first million? He said, well, we into real estate. We flip houses. Uh, and I have another couple business that, uh, that made me a millionaire. And one of the guys laughed and, and said, well... You only got a million dollars. My wife will spend that in a weekend. And they laughed. Ha, ha, ha. And he went home and he felt bad because he wasn't a, wasn't a billionaire like them. And, and that goes to show you that that played back in his mind that he, he don't have enough. He's never going to have enough. You're never going to have more than everybody in the world. You're going to always have somebody that have more or better than you. So you have to understand, don't let that play back in your head. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 and 5, it explains it, but like I say, I, this need to be a three-month sermon or a Bible study because I'm going to try to do this in like three minutes. Okay, it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 and 5, it says, for the weapons of our warfare, that's in our mind, are not carnal. I'm not fighting you with the Bible. I didn't hit you over the head with the Bible. But the mighty through God to pulling down my strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalt it against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So you have to do scripture with your issues. If you have an attitude and you know you have an attitude, that is called a stronghold that's working in your mind. You're waiting for somebody to say something to you so you could fall in your comfort zone of attitude. Have you ever noticed a lot of people sometimes uh, get in a, a bad relationship and they be in it five, six, seven years and leave that relationship and get right back in another relationship? Because normally what happens in their mind through their past relationship, they have not killed the strongholds to make them think that this is the way life is supposed to be. And you can go in another relationship with them strongholds and, and end you back in the same bad relationship. Or you can get in a relationship and find someone that really love you. They really love you. Uh, so, But you go back to your thoughts that they cheated on you in the previous relationship. And now you question them about everything. I thought you was just going to the store. I thought you was just going over your mama's house. Why are you putting on that? And you start running people away from you because your stronghold got you in bondage. If that makes any sense. Casting down imagination. Casting it down. It's just like a building. I love to see construction when they, you see the building up. And a couple of days later you see there it is, it doesn't flat it. Then another day or two you see it and it's done but clean black dirt. That means pulling down the strongholds out of your thoughts so you can operate in a positive thought using the scriptures to help you kill your strongholds, if that make any sense. Casting down the imagination and every high thing that is all against God, against the knowledge of God. And so that's what you have to do in this. And I know I'm trying to do this in three minutes, but this is a month Bible study to learn about strongholds. And all of us had them. I know for a fact I had it for 11 years, addiction of crack cocaine. And it was in my mind when I wanted to do good, I felt that evil was always present, turning me the other way when I wanted to do right. Yes, I should have spent my money and paid my rent, but I went to the dope house. Come on, I wish I had somebody to talk back to me. So listen, just a little hot word on this beautiful Thursday. My God, just remember in your heart and your spirit, you are rich, whether you believe it or not, because believe me, you got a lot more than a lot of people have. Well, God bless you all. Just a hot word for this morning. Remember, kill your strongholds and let the Bible scriptures help you diffuse them so you can.
pull them down. I love you all. You guys be blessed.